Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Pray Together episode. This is our opportunity to come together, taking requests from brothers and sisters all around the world to the throne of grace, where our high priest and king, Jesus, can hear our requests and answer our prayers according to his good timing and will. If you have a prayer request you would like to have included on a future episode of Pray Together, you can submit your request by going to carrygreen.com slash prayer. You'll find a short form there that you can fill out, and it will give us all the de- details we need to pray for you on our next episode. Okay, today we have a number of requests we're going to be praying for. I want to encourage you, pray with me as we go through this list. Pray that the God of heaven will act on behalf of our brothers and sisters who have been honest enough and brave enough to submit their request to us, and pause this episode if you need to to come back to it and finish praying later. You don't have to do it all in one sitting. So thank you for your time, for your dedication, for praying for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's pray together. Our Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for the opportunity to pray. We don't understand the dynamic of prayer and how everything relates between our prayers and your will and the determination that you make to answer a prayer or not. We don't understand all that, but we don't need to because you as a loving father have told us to ask like children who are dependent on their father. And so Lord, we come to you like a little child asking you for what we think is best. And we submit it all to your goodwill, trusting you to do what is best and to know what is best and to bring that about in the right timing. We begin today praying for Ada and her friend Brenda She says her friend Brenda has pain from her teeth to the side of her head. There have been no dental issues found, and a neurologist cannot find out what the issues are. And there does not seem to be any kind of a medication that's relieving to her pain. So, Lord, we ask you to guide Brenda in understanding where this pain is coming from. We ask you to reveal it through whatever technologies are needed, or, Lord, just by your great grace, touch her and bring healing to this situation in her body, Lord. It seems she is getting help from a chiropractor and other natural help that she's seeking, but Lord, so far the relief is not yet happening. So we ask you, Lord, to provide your great intervention here on Brenda's behalf. I thank you for a friend like Ada who's willing to pray for her friend and bring the request to others who will pray. So Lord, we want to pray for her. We want to ask you to intervene and to bring about great healing and great comfort for her. In Jesus' name. And Lord God, we come alongside our sister, Leslie. In her request, she's asking us to pray for God's will to be done regarding a situation with her husband. She is asking us to pray that her husband will admit and confess to the behaviors he's been involved in and that it would result in the restoration of their marriage. Amen, Lord. We want to see marriages like this restored. We want to see every marriage healthy, strong in the grace of Jesus Christ able to demonstrate your love for your church as you say marriage does. Lord, we know that as families are stronger, the kingdom of God is stronger. The church is stronger. It's moving forward and advancing, Lord, to fulfill your great commission. We ask you in Jesus' name to bring about healing for Leslie and for her husband. And Lord, Leslie is asking as well that she would have discernment regarding next steps. This situation sounds very complex and there's a lot of things going on. So we ask you, Lord, to give your great grace, give your great discernment and care to Leslie and to her husband. We ask you to do what is needed to bring about the proper repentance, the proper forgiveness, and the restoration of this relationship in Jesus' name. And Lord, we have an anonymous friend from Singapore, a sister, who is asking us to pray for a number of things here. First off, she is asking us to pray for her to find and meet her godly husband. Lord God, I love this prayer. I love that a woman who is desiring to be married is not ashamed, is not afraid to ask us to pray for her to meet the man who you've ordained for her. So Lord God, we ask you to open the doors that her path would cross for the man you've appointed to be her head, to be the leader of her home, that they together can live a life of kingdom impact, a life of humility and godliness that impacts the world that they live in. Lord God, she's asking us also to pray regarding her small business, that 
it would continue to bless her youngest brother and the blessing that's coming from it would be extended to her father. Lord, I don't understand the relationships and the inner relationships that are described there, but Lord, we ask you to bring about your great provision through this business, that as this sister continues in her journey as a business owner and an entrepreneur, you would give her wisdom. You give her the grace to see the right products and service and the integrity to provide them with great care and with great concern for her customers, and that it would be a blessing for her family, Lord, whether that's through income they receive from it or from her being able to care for them, Lord, whatever the case, we ask you to bring it about in Jesus' name. She is also asking us to pray for her brother's employment, that you would provide guidance and protection for him as he is in Laos. So Lord God, we are asking you to bring this brother to a place of employment that you have picked out for him, a place where he can be a blessing to his employer and to his teammates, that he can be a blessing to those he's serving in terms of customers and clients, and Lord, that he would receive from that job the provision that you have ordained for him. So Lord, we're asking you to bring about employment for this brother in Jesus' name. Our sister's asking asking us to, to pray for her pets. She has some reason that she's feeling concerned about their care and their protection. So Lord God, we know that pets are just like an added bonus, a great blessing that you've provided to us. I can't imagine our life at the current stage without our family pets. So Lord, I pray for this sister that you would provide for her the grace and the mercy of health for her pets. And finally, Lord, she is asking us to pray for the salvation of her family, her loved one, and her friends. Lord God, I know that this echoes the heart of many people who are listening. We all know someone or have someone in our family who does not know Christ, has not relinquished control of their life to him. Lord, we ask that you would move in this sister's family's hearts, that you'd show them yourself. You'd give them great grace to see you as you really are as the king of kings and to turn their lives to you in faith in simple childlike faith lord having the humility to bow the knee before jesus and to confess him as lord and to accept the forgiveness and the grace for living that only he can provide lord make them new creations in christ by your great power we ask you lord jesus to do this in your holy name Father, we have another anonymous request from a sister who lives in Singapore. She is asking that we would pray for a job to be open for her. She graduated from university in the midst of the lockdowns and has been unemployed for almost two years. Lord, I ask that you would open the doors. You would give her the right place to serve, the place that will provide adequately for her as you have ordained it to be. Lord, that you would care for her and enable her to uh, provide for her family well through the employment that you provide. So Lord, divinely and supernaturally, we ask you to open the doors, whether that be a remote job or a job that's on location there where she lives, Lord. Open the doors, bring her across the path of the people who can offer her opportunities and can give her interviews and connect her with people who can do those things. Lord, we ask you to do this in Jesus' name, Lord. Our Lord and our God, we come alongside another sister who prefers to remain anonymous. We ask you, Lord, to bring about great health for her grandparents. She is concerned for them. uh, And Lord, I understand as as aging takes its toll and as we grow in our, our experience and time here on the earth, Lord, physical things become issues. And we pray that by your grace, you would provide extraordinary health for these grandparents, that you'd enable them to be strong to be vigorous, and to be able to continue on in great health, Lord. We pray also for this sister's parents. She says she would love to see them have success in their business. So, Lord, we're asking you to provide, for you to provide even the things they don't know they need. So often we think the finances are the main area of provision, but, Lord, there's so many other things we need that you provide sometimes through the difficulties we experience through business or employment or things like that. So we ask you, Lord, to provide for these parents for their success in every way you have in mind, Lord, in Jesus' name. She's asking us also to pray for her friends uh, to be blessed and benefited in their finances and in their health. 
So Lord, I love that this young woman is a friend like this who would pray for her friends, who would lift their needs to the King of Kings. And Lord, we ask you to care for her through caring for her friends and give her the grace to be a blessing to her friends, to bring about part of that blessing and part of that success that she longs for them through her interaction with them, Lord, that you would do that in Jesus' name. She also is asking us to pray for her brother who is playing football and for his success. Lord, I know that sports is an important thing in so many of our lives, and there are lessons to be learned as a member of a team and as one who's competing on the field. And Father, we pray for this brother, that you would give him eyes to see the lessons. You'd give him the wisdom he needs to glean from his experience the things that you want him to learn and the ways in which you want his character to grow. Lord, we're asking you to do this at the request of our dear sister, in Jesus' gracious name. And Father, our sister Andrea is asking us to pray for her regarding the fruit of the Spirit that you call self-control. Lord, that she would have self-control. She would have the ability to win the war over excessive drinking and that alcohol would be removed from her life. Lord, I can imagine the courage and the, the strength it took for her to even type in this request for us to see and to know that it's going to be shared with thousands of people. Lord, we ask you to step into this situation for Andrea, to bring her freedom, to bring her, yes, Lord, that fruit of your spirit of self-control, that she will be able to see the temptations coming and fight them off, that she'll be able to stand in the victory that Jesus has provided for her, that she'll be able to say no to the temptation to drink, that she'll do everything in her power to put herself in a place for success in this area by getting rid of the alcohol in her home, by getting rid of the opportunities in her life to drink. Lord, we ask that you would set her free from the bondage that alcohol can be, Lord. We're asking it in Jesus' name on behalf of our sister. And Father, our sister Olivia is asking us to pray for her and for her boyfriend. Lord, he has a health concern that she says consumes all of his thoughts. And she's asking that he would have the faith that you would give him hope, Lord, that you would give him a future. And Lord, I pray for this man that he would learn what it means to turn his eyes to you in faith. He would learn what it means to hold hold out hope in you rather than in his recovery. And Lord, even though we want to see the recovery, and there's no reason we wouldn't pray for that, we know that oftentimes you use illness, you use physical sickness to take our eyes off of our health and put our eyes on you. So Lord, I ask that you do that in this young man's case, in Jesus' name. I pray that his girlfriend who's put in the request would be able to uh, pray for him regularly, to support him in the ways that are helpful, to be a blessing to him in all the ways that matter, Lord, and that she would be able to help him move in a direction of health, in his mind and in his emotions. And spiritually speaking, Lord, we ask you to use her, use Olivia, in powerful ways, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to pray for another anonymous sister who has a number of concerns that are related to her health and her employment. She has severe pain in her right arm due to a trauma she received in a previous medical procedure. And Lord, I ask you to grant her healing, to grant insight to the medical personnel who are looking at her, Lord, that no further mistakes would be made, but that there would be some progress and some opportunities to bring about healing for this situation. Lord, she says she's unable to take many medications, that it it doesn't do well in her body. We ask you, Lord, to bring about what she needs to receive the relief from this in Jesus' name. And Lord, as a spinoff of this arm situation, she's having a hard time finding a job that she can actually do that will provide for her and for her son. Lord, I'm asking you to grant great grace to her, that you would grant her the ability to uh, step through open doors as they present themselves, Lord, with faith that you're going to provide exactly what she needs. And Lord, that those open doors would come uh, soon and quickly, where she can have the opportunity to make more than a minimum wage that would help her to support her family as she needs to. And Lord, along with this, she says she has not been able to drive her own car for 10 months now. And she needs to have some means of transportation that would be reliable. So, Lord, we're asking you 
to provide for this dear sister a car, provide for her everything she needs to be able to get to and from work, to get to and from the responsibilities, the store, the things that she needs, Lord, that you would be her great provider of both healing and provision. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord God, we come alongside another sister who prefers to remain anonymous. She's asking us to pray for her regarding her mental health. She says she's struggling with depression and with loneliness, and she struggled in this way for many years, and right now it just feels harder than ever. She wants to know that she's loved, though she does say that she knows you love her, Lord. She's just having a hard time feeling it, a hard time understanding it, and she feels very hopeless. So, Lord God, we ask you right now in this dear sister's life to step in in new ways, in more visible ways, Lord, if you would, by your grace, do that for her as a kindness, Lord, that you would show her without a doubt and in an impacting way how much you love her. Show her your love through the cross. Show her what you've done. The scripture says you've demonstrated your love for us in this. While we were yet sinners, Jesus died for us, the ungodly. And Lord, I pray that that truth would be something she can ponder, she could meditate on, that her heart would be just enthralled with. And that she would come to see your great love for her in new, fresh ways through that understanding. But Lord, also in life, you would enable her to know how to better fight the depression and the loneliness, how to better set her mind on things above, not on things on this earth, Lord, as your, your word tells us in the book of Philippians. Lord, we ask that though we're praying in a very simplistic way because we don't know all the details, you would move in a powerful and a mighty way in this sister's life, Lord, that you'd bring about change in this circumstance for your great glory and for her good in Jesus' name. And Lord, we come alongside our sister, Lauren, who is asking us to pray for her grandmother. Her grandmother grew up Buddhist, and she is praying that she would be able to see the love of God through Jesus Christ uh, and, and forsake her Buddhist ways. Lord, I ask you in Jesus' name to do this. You say that you are the God of all men. You are the only way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by you. So I ask, Lord, that you would break through the blinders of Buddhism. You would dispel and destroy every spiritual power that is attached to this vain philosophy of Buddhism, Lord, and that you would give her eyes to see the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, Jesus Christ, that she would be able to turn her heart to him in faith, that this grandmother would see her creator with a new vision, with a new uh, sight that she's never seen him before, Lord, and place her faith in him. I thank you so much for Lauren praying for her grandmother, Lord. Bring about a great change, a great confirmation and transformation in Jesus' name. And Jesus, we pray alongside our sister Heather for the salvation of her children and her grandchildren. Lord, that you would make their hearts willing to see your truth for what it is and to place themselves under your Lordship, Lord. That they would be willing to rest in you, to trust in your promises, to see the power of your teaching and your your holy instruction, Lord, that they would bring their lives into subjection into those things and live their lives according to your ways, Lord. We know that there's so much that goes into a decision of faith like this. So many barriers have to be overcome, so many false beliefs that have to be broken down. Lord, you know what is needed in every single one of their situations. So we ask you, Lord, to step in in your gracious way and bring about salvation for this family. Honor Heather's prayers. Honor her desires, Lord, for them to see you and to see you as you really are, Lord. Enable that to happen. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord God, we come alongside our brother Fletcher, who is thankful for the truth that has been spoken into his life through the morning mindset, and I'm sure other avenues as well, Lord. He is asking us to pray for him, that he continues to grow in his knowledge of God, his knowledge of the truth, and in the wisdom that he's received, Lord, that he would become a man of your truth. And so, Lord, we're asking for Fletcher, Lord, that right where he is in the, the time of life and the circumstances in which he finds himself, he would see you as his greatest treasure. He would see you as the glorious king of the universe that you are. 
and that he would be able to submit himself to you in power and in grace and in in humility, Lord, that you would fill his life up with the power that comes from living a humble, obedient life. And Lord, that you would enable him to be in love with you, to follow you with all of his heart because you are his Savior, because you are his Lord. Lord, continue to speak to his life. Continue to guide him. Continue to make him into the man of God that you would have him be, Lord. We pray for Fletcher all these things in Jesus' name. And Lord, we have a request here from two people together, Sarah and Matt. And they're praying for health and reconnection in their blended family. Two of their five daughters are living with their mother. I'm assuming this is from a previous marriage and they haven't seen them for over a year. Lord, we are asking you to open the doors for continued and, and constant relationship between this estranged family, Lord, that you would bring about a cooperative effort between this mother and the dad and his new wife and family, Lord, that you would enable there to be a a safe and loving interaction here where these children can be connected to their father. They can be connected to their, their family on this side of the equation that we're praying about, Lord. They say that they're fearful that their mom who they live with are not believers and that there are, are things going on there that, that are not of you. Lord, we ask that you would bring salvation to that household, that you would bring transformation to that mother and to the people in that home, Lord, that these children would be brought up to know you and to fear you as only uh, your spirit can do, Lord. We ask you to make that change and to bring about a restoration and reconciliation in this family. In Jesus' name. Lord, we come alongside our sister Chelsea, who is asking us to pray for her mother, Her heart is just aching. Her mother, she says, used to be such a godly mother, took them to church. They were engaged in all kinds of things when she was younger. But now as she's a young woman herself, uh, she sees her mother struggling with a drug addiction that she's had for several years. And she is not the same person. There is so much that has changed. And she sees her mom struggling and she sees such pain, Lord. We are asking you to bring about freedom from this addiction, whatever has led to it, whatever pain has driven her there or just circumstances that have drawn her in, Lord, we ask that you would transform this situation and you bring about freedom and healing for this mother. We pray for Chelsea and for her family as they continue uh, struggling in their own spirits to know how to pray for their mother, to know how to help her, Lord, that you give them great wisdom. You'd enable them to demonstrate the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in their interactions with this mom. And Lord, that your kindness would lead her to repentance and she would be freed from this addiction, Lord. We're asking you to step in and to bring about change like only you can do, Lord. We're asking it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for our sister Shana and her husband. They have been struggling with infertility for the past two years and are desiring to have a child, Lord. I pray that they will be able to give you this concern fully, that they'll be able to day by day trust you with it and trust you with the growth of their family in whatever way you would deem that to be needed, Lord, that you'd bring about the great blessing and and honor of having a child, Lord, and that you provide the wisdom that they need as parents to raise that child to know you. But Lord, also just give them the grace to wait on you, to trust you, to rest in your timing, to know that you do all things well and you do all things for our good and your glory as your children, Lord. So we're asking you to give this this dear couple, Shana and her husband, the great grace they need to continue walking this path with your strength with your power, with confidence and hope in you, Lord, that despair would be banished, that any sort of uh, discouragement would be driven away, that you would shine as their glory and as their strength, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. Lord God, we join with our sister Amber in praying for a family friend's daughter who's named Ava Grace. She was in a car accident and is suffering all kinds of injuries as a result. Uh, There is some bleeding and swelling on her brain, Lord, and she's been in the hospital for a week now and is fighting for her life. Lord God, we ask you to reach in right now through the power, 
that only you have and touch her brain, touch her, her head. Lord, bring about a relief to the swelling, a relief to the bleeding. We ask you to heal her in Jesus' name, Lord, to bring a great demonstration of your power and your grace in her life and in the life of her family. Lord God, please use this circumstance to bring yourself greater glory. In our minds, from our human perspective, we often see that as being a miracle or being some grand display that people cannot deny. And Lord, while we know that is a possibility and we know that you can do those things, we also know that sometimes you use the grace that you provide to the family and the strong faith that they're able to demonstrate to be a witness to others in a far more powerful way. And so, Lord, we ask you to advance your kingdom through this circumstance to do so in Ava Grace's life, Lord, to make yourself known and to make the blessings of following Christ be evident for everyone who's watching. We ask for great care to be shown to Ava Grace and to her family by the medical professionals that are involved. Lord, that no mistakes would be made, that great care and concern would be expressed through wise medical interventions, and Lord, that alongside your healing touch, you would use them as instruments of your healing, Lord. We're asking in Jesus' name. Lord God, our sister Tara is asking us to pray that the relationship she has with her daughter can be repaired, that forgiveness can be expressed, and that peace and happiness would result. Lord, we don't know the circumstance that has brought about this estrangement and this difficulty between Tara and her daughter, but Lord, we ask that you would bring the proper humility wherever it's needed to enable confession and repentance to occur, to enable forgiveness to be offered and accepted. And Lord, that restoration could begin right there. That is the biblical pattern you show us for how relationships that are they're broken and hurting can be restored. So we ask you to do this, Lord. We ask you to do it in Jesus' name, to show how you are the unifier, you are the peacemaker, you are the prince of peace, and that you can bring about this sort of restoration for your own glory and for their good. So Lord, I know that Tara, as a mother, has got to be in such a painful place right now. Lord, we're asking you to bring comfort and solace to her, bring confidence to her heart that you, her king, are active and you're working in this situation, Lord. Enable her to do what is wise from her side of the situation. Enable her to do what will show love and care and true concern for her daughter in a way that facilitates the healing and the path toward it. Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. And Father, we come alongside our sister Kim, who is asking us to pray for three different things here. First off, her husband is experiencing a very deep depression that she describes as debilitating. So Lord, we ask you for this man to release him from this depression, to bring about whatever changes need to happen physiologically in his brain, with his brain chemicals and with the different hormones. Lord, we ask that you would bring about restoration and deliverance from this depression in Jesus' name, Lord. That if there are lies he's believing that need to be broken, that you would you would expose them with the truth that you'd bring about great healing to him through introducing him to the healing that can come from salvation in Jesus Christ, Lord. We don't know what his physical or spiritual state is, rather, but Lord, we trust you to draw him to yourself, to bring about healing in Jesus' name. Kim is also asking us to pray for her son's health and safety on a trip that he has that's coming soon. Lord, we ask that you would just uh, provide everything he needs for this trip, Lord, that if it's your will for him to go on the trip, you would open the doors and keep them open, that you'd enable him to to walk in that trip uh, in your will to accomplish what you have in store for him, Lord, and that you would keep him healthy, that you would provide safety as he travels. Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Kim is also asking us to pray for her granddaughter's health. Lord, that's all we know about the situation is that her granddaughter's health is in question. So Lord, we ask you to bring great grace to this situation, that her granddaughter would be well, her granddaughter would be healed if healing is needed. And Lord, thank you for Kimba being a grandmother to pray for her granddaughter, being a mother who would pray for her son, being a wife who would pray for her husband. Lord, we ask you to honor her prayers, to give her strength in her praying, that she would pray according to your will. She would know your mind in these things and be able to pray effectively as a result. Lord, we ask you to bring great comfort to her that worry would be banished, that anxiety would flee because she's placing her cares in the hands of the one 
who can do something with them and who is trustworthy. We ask it in Jesus' name. And Father, we have a request from an anonymous sister here who is asking to pray, us to pray for her regarding a number of things. First off, she wants to thank you and she wants to praise you for enabling her to pass her medical boards. Amen, Lord. I know that's a difficult exam. I know it's um, something she was probably very concerned about. Thank you for providing her the intellectual recall and the skill and the knowledge that she needed to pass that test, Lord. Thank you so much for that deliverance and that relief that I'm sure she's feeling right now. Lord, she also is asking us to pray for health for her parents and for her aunt who have health concerns. Lord, I ask that you would bring about uh, deliverance from illness and deliverance from, from physical ailments, Lord, and that you would bring about healing and strength and that you would show yourself powerful in the midst of doing so, that they would see you and they would trust in you. They would recognize you as the good God that you really are. Lord, this sister is also asking us to pray for her regarding her relationship with her boyfriend. She's been in the relationship for seven years and they're going through some difficult times. Lord, I ask you to refine them, to enable them to learn trust and love for each other as Jesus has for us, Lord, that we would be able to love as he does, that they would be able to do so. Lord, can they be able to uh, interact with each other according to wisdom, according to peace, according to a standard of holiness that you've set for couples? Lord, I ask that you would enable them to move out of this difficult time with an eye towards serving you to a greater degree and with more clarity, Lord. She is also asking us to pray regarding her career, that you would guide her into the most appropriate position for her, that she'll be able to be a blessing to be a joy, to be an asset to the company or to the organization that she serves and to the clients and customers, to her team. Lord, I pray that you'll provide for her everything you have in store for a place of employment and for a, way, a means for her to provide both services to others and income for herself. Lord, find that balance for her and guide her into it. Lord, open the doors in Jesus' name. Father, our sister Emily comes to us with a simple request that I know we can all relate to. Her parents' pet dog has passed away. Tragically, it sounds like it was sudden, and they're devastated, and she wants us to pray for them. So, Lord, we ask that you would be the God of all comfort, as Second Corinthians chapter 1 says. Lord, even in a situation like this, where it's an animal, not a human, that's been lost, there is great grief because you've given a blessing through that animal. You've given such a great sense of companionship and joy at times through that pet. And Lord, we know the loss is a difficult one. So we ask you to show yourself to be a caring and loving God in this situation, to show yourself to be their Savior, their God, and their Father in a way that maybe they haven't seen before. Lord, we ask you to bring comfort and healing, restoration of their hope, and a sense of, of your presence that brings about fullness of joy. Lord, we ask that in Jesus' name. Father, we pray along with our sister Megan for a family member who has unexpectedly uh, lost his wife after a surgery that went bad, Lord. She was the mother of two little girls, nine years old and seven years old. Lord, ooh, what a loss, what a an unexpected thing to have to deal with, Lord. I, I just can't imagine the pain and the disillusionment that's in this man's heart right now, Lord. We ask you to bring comfort and to bring a sense of your presence that can soothe and, and that can give him great grace to handle this situation, Lord. Give him the strength and the wisdom he needs to be able to guide his daughters in how to think about this, to be a strength for them while at the same time showing them how to mourn showing them how to grieve properly, showing them how to handle all of this in an attitude of trust and faith in you. Lord, that their faith will grow through this rather than diminish, that they will see you as their great king and provider. Lord, that even in a time of sorrow and tragedy like this, you would be honored and glorified. And Lord, it seems that on top of this, four months after losing his wife, uh, his wife's sister, uh, delivered a beautiful baby stillborn. And Lord, we know that this too is just a hard blow. It's so difficult for us to understand and for us to, 
to navigate the grief that goes on in situations like this. So Lord, we're asking you for this to your family, that you would wrap your arms around them. You'd show them your great care and your great grace. Lord, give them a vision for who you are that's beyond the pain, that's beyond the loss, that sees you as grand and glorious and above it in ways that we can't even comprehend. Yet, that knowledge gives us peace and gives us hope and gives us comfort that the, the, this, was for, this was not for no reason. This was in your plan and for your good, Lord. We ask that you would bring about that knowledge and that comfort in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to pray with an anonymous sister here who's asking us to pray for her to be able to break the addiction that she feels surrounding a struggle that she has with masturbation. Lord, we ask you to give her great deliverance and freedom, Lord. I know that this can be such a bondage, such a place of, of guilt and grief and of, of sorrow, a place of self-condemnation. And Lord, I ask you to bring whatever is needed in this circumstance, to bring that light of hope, to bring that light of deliverance that is needed, Lord, for this sister. I ask you to give her a great experience of yourself, Lord, that will set you as her treasure, you as her her new focus in life, you as her strength and her power for overcoming all things, Lord. You have given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of you, Jesus. That's what you tell us in the book of First Peter. Lord, we ask you, to bring about that hope for this sister, Lord, to set her free, to give her hope and to give her courage in the face of this difficulty that she's been facing. In Jesus' name. Father, we come alongside our brother Mutale from the country of Zambia. He says the company that he worked for has been shut down and all the workers were laid off, so he is looking for work. Lord, we ask that you would open the doors to provide just the right opportunity for him to be able to support his family. Lord, that he would not be gripped by fear or anxiety about the future, but Lord, rather you would open up in him a wellspring of faith, an ability to trust that's far beyond his previous experience, Lord, that you would show him what it means to look in the face of Jesus, to trust him, to provide in every way, to not fear because his God has promised to be with him, to not be afraid because his God has provided every need in the past and has promised to do so in the future. Lord, I thank you for Mutale asking us to pray for him. We ask that you would pray, you would provide, Lord, you would open the doors and give him the opportunities that he needs, Lord. Show him exactly where to go, who to speak with, what applications to submit, what doors to knock on, Lord. Give him guidance and direction day by day as he diligently searches for that next opportunity that you have ordained for him, Lord. We ask it in Jesus' name. And Father, we come alongside our brother Will. He describes himself as a young man who's wanting to grow in his faith, but over the last couple of months, he feels that Satan has really been getting him down and trying to draw him away Lord, I ask you to give him strength to live every day for you and to grow in his relationship with you. Lord, I ask you to bind the powers of the enemy, bind any spiritual forces that are bringing about discouragement and despair in his life. I pray, Lord, that you give him the tools that he needs, that you would make him aware of the tools he already has that would enable him to draw close to you, Lord. You tell us in your word that If we seek you, we will find you if we seek you with all our hearts. So, Lord, give him that kind of drive and devotion that he would seek you with all his heart. He would make room every day to open your word and to read it and to seek to understand, to ask your Holy Spirit to guide him in wisdom and in knowledge of you. Lord, that he would recognize that you and the knowledge of you is the greatest goal he could have in his life. Give him that hunger. Give him that desire to know you and to follow hard after you with all that he is, Lord. Like the psalmist says, Lord, enable him to pray, my soul thirsts for you and my flesh yearns for you in a dry, weary land where there is no water, Lord. Fulfill his desire. Make him one of those who you say uh, hungers and thirsts for righteousness, Lord, that he can be filled. We ask you to do this for will, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for a request from an anonymous brother here who is praying for his parents. 
He says they're going through difficult financial times and he's concerned things will never go back to the way that they were. And he hates just watching his parents uh, seemingly killing themselves just to get money. He's asking prayer, Lord, that you would help. And Lord, we know that circumstances like this are in our lives for many reasons. And we don't pretend to know in their case what's going on. But Lord, we do know that in all of it, you desire for yourself to shine brighter and more obvious than any other desire that we have. And so we pray for this young man's parents, Lord, that you would break them free of the love of money and the anxiety that's driving them to attain it. And Father, we ask you to set them free from that hunger and rather that they would have a hunger for you, Lord, that you would give them a great sense of of purpose in seeking after you, Lord, that they would see you as their greatest treasure. But Lord, at the same time, in ways only you can do, we ask you to grant them the provision that they need for their family, that it would not be motivated or generated by fear, Lord, and by anxiety, but rather you would show them how trustworthy you are. You'd show them how to rest in you, how they can trust you with everything that they are, Lord, and that you would be their provider and that they would know you as such, Lord. We ask you to do this in Jesus' name. And Father, we thank you for the great grace that you've provided, that not a needy person is existing as a nonprofit organization, that you've provided many people to come alongside as as benefactors in that ministry to meet the needs of many. We've recently seen a roof repaired right before the hurricane came through Florida. We praise you for that, Lord. We've seen hospital bills taken care of. We praise you for that, Lord. We've seen debts paid off. We praise you for that, Lord. We've seen medical expenses taken care of. Lord, we praise you for that. We know you are the giver of all good things. You are the one who provides through your people to meet the needs of others in your family. And so, Lord, we ask you to continue to guide people who have the needs you've appointed for us to meet, to be brought to the website and to be able to submit their needs. We ask that you would appoint those who are to meet those needs to come and to find the means to do so there on the website and that our our people behind the scenes Trevor and Natalie and Mindy who are working on the vetting process would be wise and be discerning they'd be able to see the needs for what they really are whether they are are true or false and to be able to make the right decisions regarding those needs and whether to support them and Lord that your people will be blessed through this great ministry. Lord, we're asking you to do that in Jesus' name. Lord, I want to pray as well for the fruit of the new parenting podcast that my wife and I are producing, God-fearing kids and the parents who raised them. Lord, that you would communicate the heart behind Christian parenting, that it would not be about Mindy and I and our kids, but it would rather be about what you've done and the great grace that you're willing to provide for any parent who will humble themselves in fear of you and put themselves under your instruction, Lord, that you would guide them in the wisdom of understanding how to apply the scriptures to their own lives and to the lives of their children, that you guide them in, in growing a tender and, and a sensitive heart before you, Lord, in the hearts of their children, Lord, that their children's hearts would be guided to your heart and that their children would be growing in the knowledge and the wisdom of you, Lord. We ask you to bring about great fruit through that effort in Jesus' name. And Father, We pray continually for what you're doing through the morning mindset. We ask you to continue causing it to be a source of encouragement and strength for those who listen. We ask you to expand the audience across the globe to use it as a small part of what your kingdom is doing in the world, to grow and to to flourish for your sake and for your purposes. Lord, guide me in my teaching that I would teach every day according to the truth of your word that I would not pour into it any meaning that's not there, that I would not draw out of it anything that doesn't exist, Lord, but that I would be faithful to your word and that your word would go out with the power that you intend for it to go out, that it would transform lives, that it would bring about new thoughts, new understanding, new zeal and desire for you, Lord, in the hearts of your people. And for those who do not know you, Lord, you would use it to draw them in faith to you. Lord, we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friends, thank you for making it through this prayer episode together with me. I thank you for praying with me. I thank you for continuing to pray for the requests that you've heard. Let me just put a thought in your mind. If one of these requests or any number of these requests come back to your mind through the week, 
use that as a prompt from the Holy Spirit to pray again for that person. He is active in your life in that way, in that situation. So don't take that for granted. Step in and be an advocate for your brothers and sisters in Christ. If you have a request or a praise that you would like to share with us for a future episode, we ask you to make that known to us by going to carrygreen.com. That's C-A-R-E-Y. Green, just like the color, dot com slash prayer. Fill out the form, give us the details, and we would love to pray for you. Friends, thank you for praying with me. Let's pray again together next Friday.